Um, I didn't mention at the start, but you came first in mathematics standard. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's incredible. And, you know, that does explain why maybe the, the bridging course was a little bit easier for you. But I was going to ask about that. How did you find the difficulty of that? Like, do you think anyone could do it who has a reasonable competence, competency at maths? Or Yeah, yeah. So I'll start with like um, the rationale behind doing that was because I did advanced math all the way through to year 11 was um, to maximize my ATAR, I thought I would do standard math and try to maximize the mark I got in that subject. And it's got, it would help me more than, than doing advanced math and kind of struggling throughout the year. It also gave me more time to focus on other subjects mm. because I didn't need to devote as much effort to standard math as I would advanced math. With the bridging course, it's, they really help you out. It, it's just online modules that you do at your own time. Um, they walk you through it, especially like a, an online uni course, essentially. There's discussion forums. Um, there, if you want to look online, there's online forums where, that, where they'll, um, people help you out. People will talk you through what the exam's like. But the exam was just an open book exam, 45 marks or 50 marks. You had to get 70%. Okay. Um, and really, it's just year 12 advanced content. And for me, it was like, I, um, I was able to do that content because it's all you had to focus on, really. You're not having to focus on English and stuff. So I had like, what was it, four weeks of just focusing on that maths. One thing I found really helpful is that the practice exam they give you is almost exactly similar to the actual exam, just with mm. different numbers. So if you find solutions to all those questions, essentially the exam is going to be those solutions and you're changing up the numbers. Mm. I definitely think most people will be able to do it. Um, you get, I think, three attempts, and even if you don't pass in those three attempts, they make accommodations and they might, they might give you a fourth one. Mm. So they really, they really, they want you in. Like the universities, they want to admit you. They want more students in their courses. Yeah, that, that's great advice. Uh, because I know a lot. There are a lot of people out there who are probably think, you know, should I do standard or advanced based on that? But you know, if you feel like you're going to nail standard and you're going to struggle with advanced, but you need math advanced to do, you know, your course, then you can just take this path. Try and yeah. nail standard, but make sure you nail it. That's the caveat, right? Don't yeah. slack off because you think it's easy. I'm sure you still worked very hard at that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then do the bridging course. Yeah.